All right, Vickers Trainer one. So I'm uh, starting to pump. And we've got all our hoses here going to the pressure, comes in. Basic extender retract. I'm Nick. This is Vickers, number two. All right, so we're using our flow control air. We've got it all set up to go through it. Uh, it's adjustable uh, so that uh, when we extend or retract, it will uh, go a different variable speeds here. That was slow. Hi, I'm Nick, and this is Vickers Trainer number three. All right, so we've got it all set up here. Got this going to the drain, and uh, turn it on, and you'll see by our little taped up flag there that when we activate it, first we have rotation in one direction, and then we have rotation in the other. It's very exciting. So here, we're gonna go counterclockwise, and now, we're gonna go clockwise. Hi, I'm Nick, and we're doing Vickers Trainer number four. It's very exciting, because in this Vickers Trainer, we have a rotary motor that goes both directions, and now it's controlled by a flow control. So, as I activate our lever, you can see that it's spinning in a counterclockwise motion. I'll use the flow control to accelerate it and decelerate it. There, it almost stopped. It was going so slow. As I turn the nozzle, you can see that the revolutions are increasing in speed. Now, in a clockwise motion, you can see it's still Hi, I'm Nicholas Bate. You might recognize me from hydraulics class. And this is Vickers Trainer number five. All right. So, let me start it up. And watch it go. In one direction. And the other. And we can do this all day. Well, we've got other bigger strainers that might be more important for you to see. <laughs> right. Hi, I'm Nicholas Bate, and here we are with Vickers Trainer number six. This is the counterbalance circuit. Um, so we're uh, going to impose a hydraulic resistance on a cylinder and prevent the uncontrolled load drop of the cylinder. Uh, just for safety's sake. So, I'll we'll start here with the motor. And uh, you can see, when I activate it, it goes out. We're maintaining the pressure over here so that we wouldn't uh, have an uncontrolled load drop. And then when I hit the other direction, it triggers the pilot and relieves the pressure. And that was Vickers Trainer number six. I'm Nicholas Bate, and I'm here with Vickers Trainer number seven. All right, so as you may have read, uh, this is a rapid advance feed and rapid return um, with a meter outflow control uh, with deceleration. So let's get started. All right, so we got our flow control here. 
our deceleration valve, and our cylinder. So as I operate the uh, cylinder back and forth, you'll see that it's decelerated by this, uh, as well as I have it on slow there with the uh, flow control. So I can change and adjust my flow with the flow control. And the deceleration valve also decelerates. <laughs> All right, thanks for participating. Vickers Trader, number seven. Hi, I'm Nicholas Bates, and we're here with Vickers Trainer Circuit, number eight. In this one, we are going to perform one operation before the other can occur. So, let's begin. We'll turn on our machine and get it right. So as I operate the lever here on the switch, you'll first see one cylinder go over there, and then the follow. And they will retract. And yet again, one more time, one and two, just like that. As easy as possible when you have the circuit properly hooked up. Thanks for participating in another Vickers Trainer circuit. And that was eight, I think. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nicholas Bain, here with another edition of Vickers Training. This one happens to be Vickers number nine. And in Vickers number nine, they're wanting a sequencing circuit with speed control. So, we're gonna have one operation occur before the other, but they want the speed control, uh, adjusted the speed control on the second operation. And let's begin. So, got it set up. Get one operation, then the other, just like they call for. Now, I can uh, crank it all the way up here on my, uh, my speed control and see how it starts to attract it. I'll adjust it the other way. Changes. Ah, uh, yes. Adjust the speed control. Good times. And there you have it. And that was Vickers Trainer number nine. Hi, I'm Nicholas Bate, and we're here with our final installment of Vickers Training. All right, so this is Vickers Trainer number 10. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so Vickers Trainer number 10 is a sequencing circuit with limited clamping pressure. So what we had to do here is we uh, need one operation to occur before the other and to limit the maximum pressure on the first operation. Let's get started. Operating, you the pressure gauge there. Alright. And I'll uh, just crank this. And I'll turn it the other way. And you'll notice the change. Ah, uh, yes. So that's our final installment of Vickers Training. Hope you had as much fun as I did. I love hydraulics.